loads of avocets, red shanks. Lovely. It's come out really nice. I come from a background of walking in mountains and coasts with cliffs and coves and sandy beaches and I've never walked in Essex or Suffolk at all. Every day is something different and interesting. Like today around Mersey Island I met a man who restores steam traction engines and all sorts and visited a vineyard, <laughs> a vineyard in Essex and uh, ate oysters. First ever oyster yeah, go down in one. Saw all the avocets down there, red shanks, and shell ducks, and just really butterflies, birds, beautiful. Each day I try and distill, I suppose, very quickly what I've heard and seen to make some sense of it. It's actually quite useful to do that because it kind of draws your attention to the patterns and shapes of the story. As a writer, I find that on the page when I write, and I remember things that perhaps I didn't notice at the time consciously. It's interesting to talk to people about how their lives have changed and what the future might hold, because I think it's going to be a very different place. It's pretty intense. We're up quite often at six or even earlier, and then we walk all day, every day. And we're over two weeks into it now, and I start to feel like the rhythm has come. I mean, I've never walked 500 miles before in a seamless, expedition like this. You've done the whole thing? Yeah. This coast is really changing fast. I mean, we've seen things that are quite astonishing. I've seen the cliff falling away in front of me one day. Lots of big trees in the sea. Lots of debris on the beach of buildings. The sea is rising and ripping out the coast and changing it constantly. Here on Mersey Island, we saw a big bite out of the sea where the seawall was breached a couple of years ago. And, you know, it's taken a lot of farmland now. So you see all these challenges and you wonder what's going to happen. You know, what are people going to do? I feel there's a battle going on for the coast in that some people are like carving off little bits and calling it their private beach. And it seems so petty to be worrying about your little private piece of shingle when it probably ain't going to be there in 20 years time anyway and um, there are so much bigger things to worry about than whether you have it to yourself or not and incidentally we're walking along we have it to ourselves most of the time anyway <laughs>